Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader known as Fijian Traders. This is Mr. Singh. Marathon Digital Holdings, ticker symbol M-A-R-A. -A. Folks, this is what I mentioned on my previous video and look at it. It has been happening as we predicted, as I predicted. Not a final advisor, just my doing my technical analysis and due diligence on stock and that I, I invested money on, so I am excited about it, right? And why did I see the pullback? Well, you can clearly see that we said about making this jump high, pull back, make high, and guess what? We did pull back. I was expecting around at about $26 level, but it came at, at our pink line, which is sitting at $24.95, and we are trading above today. So don't beat yourself up. It's okay. But before we talk on the technical side, couple the fundamentals are, as usual I cover it. Um, so, couple things um, I want to talk about is what are we looking on that. I'm gonna start with the analysis rating, right? For about Marathon Digital Holdings, four analysts have variety of opinions of on the past quarter offering and, and devise of an opinion on from bullish to bearish, right? So you can clearly see that. Uh, sorry, folks. Let me go back. Um, total rating was over here, and you can see how many was bluish, uh, blue, been a bull, right? And it's been one, one, two, three months ago, only three, and last thirty days, it's been a indifferent on that. So why it is changing it, right? Because we're struggling to break a certain point, right? We come around here between the $29 to a $31 level and we get rejected, right? We're time and time, we're getting rejected, 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 right? So right here is still closing price, bluish, right? Yellow is right here. And if what point is gonna be a price target? And because we are sitting at those price targets and that's the reason behind it. Sometimes you have this pullback and where the shorts usually take over on that, right? We know what's, um, Bitcoin is doing and we're going to discuss it later in the video and how, what are their support level and assistance level but you can clearly see that we um, kind of go back again is the price targets right the price when we come to the close to the price targets we do struggle and what are those price targets right the price targets it was prior was like $26, $24 and $20 now it has been raised right and it you know uh, by certain capital big firms right buy at 35 right there's a 35 dollar 27 dollar 24 dollar and 30 so usually about 30 dollar range is where marathon digital is been kind of targeted towards it right and we do see and I, I do see that we are struggling at a bigger bigger price a bigger time around that area right so let's as i mentioned on my previous video we're gonna have this pullback and guess what? Time and time we come to our beautiful pink line, which is the 200 day, right? Acted as support, and we bounce back again. I won't be surprised. Tomorrow we go back to 27, 28 dollar, 29 dollar level, right? Even though on that, right? So today, let's talk about today. How what we did, right? What did it broke, right? This is was my kind of curve area. So ignore this blue line. We opened up. We went high at 29 dollars 43 cents, right? After pre market, we're looking at three uh, on 29 dollars 63 cents. We couldn't, we couldn't broke it. And then guess what? We talked, and on my previous video, I talked about my resistance, $27.76. We tested one, two, three. I had a big downfall. And guess what? My next support level was sitting at $24.39. I didn't make it up. I talked about my all my videos. I've been doing it right now. And my level on the key support level, we came low of $24.46, very close. And we bounced back. We did some recovery today at $5.00. Uh, $25 in so many one says the market closed after I was was kind of roughly sitting at around about $26 in one cent so which is making that right but look at Bitcoin folks Bitcoin is crashing it it is destroying it look at it right now this is for today's right we are making all-time high we are 68,000 the high right now was just before the time of the video was 68,622 right now it's 68,472 it has made seven and half point five percent just for today this is a beautiful one they're making it right now on the digital and i know we are frustrated i know i'm frustrated it's like what the heck man why are maritime is not moving right and but we can see the mining companies had did did have some pullbacks today right but i didn't expect this much pullback but well to be honest 
it Mara has been moving at three to four dollar per day now, right? So this pullback was uh, was about to happen. It did happen, right? And you can clearly see that we came back to this range again, and we're trading on that, right? And we tested the twenty four dollar thirty cent twenty nine cents at a key support level, and we tested it time and time. I mentioned my previous video about this, right? And it's a beautiful setup. I I really didn't want to draw it, but it happened, folks. You can clearly see that we are talking about going up high. Then he had the pullback, go up high again and pull back. And sure not, why did I stop over here? Because my beautiful pink line is sitting at $26.56, right? And we tested it, even though we closed today at the bottom, right? And from here, let's see if we make the high back again. And this time, if we make a high, right, we will destroy that $31 and we're going to sit around there, right? And we're going to destroy it. We're going to sit around there. Why I'm seeing it? Why I'm seeing it? Because a reversal off is coming in. Everything is pointing towards it. But as we know, the shorts are not playing around. They are here for long, right? They are definitely on that. And you can clearly see that my pink line is sitting at $24, right? $24 on a three-month chart, right? Three-month chart at $24.94 we're sitting, which we closed today, right? And time and time it was acting as a massive support and not. If we break it, folks, then $22.65. And then after that, it's going to go right over here, even though I have a support level here, which is going to shift on the top now because it was acting as a resistance. It's going to be $19. And I want to make sure that I make right on that. $19 time and time right here. Right here. Sorry. $19.31 is going to be roughly around as going to be our support level so these are the key to support level if it comes back right i know a lot of buyers have came in over here and stepped the price same as me i've been sitting below 14 dollars as well right but i'm monitoring it because if it drops to 22 level right here in between that then it is gonna be coming down unfortunately until unless we have some positive that but i don't see it coming down i don't technically don't see it because it's holding at a beautiful and time and time we tested it we moved it up Right, we tested back again over here. I won't be surprised coming right back over here and kind of trading in between these two levels 27 and 30, or right here in between that 25 to 27 dollar level, right here, and then making my high up. But this is what's my kind of plan that it kind of had this pullback, right? Where is a reversal, and then see if it's going to come back again. So I'm going to delete it, right? Make the chart a little bit better, but I can see it come back and make this pretend again right here for making another highs. But like I said, we broke one level at 30, then we tested 34 level, uh, level. we got rejected, and get from $34, we came back to $24 level, close to $24.50, uh, $24 and that's a big move. It's, co it's close to a $10 move, right, in a five-day chart, because that's a big move happens, and now you can see that with the volume of the um, Marathon Digital has, it can go either way, and it can flip to a $10 day I run, Mark my word, it can flip to a ten dollar run very soon too. So I'm not, I'm not bothered about it. I'm not worried about it because on the one ear, right, we have not been seeing this beautiful run at the time, right? And um, quickly, I'm gonna go and we still have the uptrend on the one ear, right? On the one ear, still my pink line is below. My one line is right here. Even on the six months, right, you can clearly see that it's not a confirmation on that pink line is still sitting here, right, on the six month chart. It is sitting right at $23.04, uh, $23 and the blue line is sitting at $26.00. Even though we traded below on that, I won't be surprised. We'll go up. We have this reversal, beautiful reversal coming in. and But we can see that it is going to be our sitting ground here, right, before on that, right? Even though, man, even though Bitcoin is freaking pull like 68, 67,000, I know with that. And why are we not doing it, right? And because there's a lot of people had uh, because uh, the company has those targets sitting at thirty dollars around, people are just panicking and selling it. Unfortunately, they do sell it. Yeah, right. Who's I don't blame them. You're sitting at fifteen dollars. You go into thirty-four dollars. Why not, right? But if you're here for a long term, like me and stuff, so like we want to see this stock over fifty bucks, right? This is the ultimate goal, my and I have no doubt to seeing this stock going over fifty bucks. But this week, for Tuesday and Wednesday, we gotta keep an eye. The two key levels to break is definitely twenty seven, seventy six, and thirty. But the support level, resistance levels is the next one is gonna sit at twenty two dollars and sixty five cents, and twenty four thirty nine. Sorry, twenty four thirty nine, twenty two sixty nine, and nineteen dollars and thirty one cents are the three key support level. So what I'm gonna do is gonna change this color. 
and I'm gonna have it as my support because I know it's gonna hold it out and I'm gonna have it as a support level right here and which we kind of coming which which are coming really really close right now right and we're gonna have these two red beautiful red that we're gonna destroy it and change it into blue color I don't like red color but I'm gonna change it to a blue color color on my long term but on the MACD we did have this sell off the bars I know we're talking about getting some but we had this momentum uh, kind of shifted it towards it right so uh, like I said, be prepared. We might be getting some more extra pullback coming up. But anytime we see these healthy pullbacks, guess what we see? A reversal back again. So thank you guys for watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and turn on that notification because you definitely don't want to miss anything when it comes out with Marathon Digital. I, I shared my portfolio for my previous uh, video. Go ahead and check it out too. Um, but on my next video coming up on Wednesday, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my call options. And I'm also going to show you my portfolio back again too. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here in the play. So see you guys on Wednesday for the new updated video coming up. Thank you.